good morning dear students i'd like to welcome you to my today's lecture but before that happy new year 2021 and we will start with new enthusiasm and speed and uh, in the meantime i i have conducted several classes on english first paper but today i'd like to take a class on english second paper and uh, in the meantime you have completed your in course exam that is uh, uh, your class test exam that is city one has been completed by you and we are heading towards city two and in order to take an excellent preparation in order to take an excellent preparation i'd like to focus both on english first paper and second paper this time it is our duty to complete english second paper i'm going to start with a new topic i'm going to start with a very new topic which is not known to you actually in your ssc level you had 60 grammatical marks that means 60 marks depend on grammar if we consider the question of ssc level and for intermediate level another 60 marks are there for english second paper and in our ct1 we had two grammatical items one is article and another is preposition today i will start with question number three of english second paper it's a grammatical item which is really interesting and i would say it, this is a very easy and understandable grammatical item what is the name of the grammatical item let us uh, learn or hear from me okay the students we are going to start with question number three of english second paper question number three of english second paper is phrases and words actually not phrases and words questions are given from look at for question number three there is a line I'm going to give you a conception regarding the question pattern of question number three. Complete the complete the following sentences. Look at this twist. Complete the following sentences with suitable words and phrases this is the question this is the question complete the following sentences with suitable words and phrases in this world we have innumerable words and phrases but there will be a box inside this box here will be given 10 words and phrases you have to take the help of the phrases and words to fill in the blanks of 10 sentences that means there will be a box inside this box you will be given 10 words or phrases okay and under this box you will be given 10 sentences a uh, sentence from a b c d e f g h i j that is there are 10 there will be given 10 sentences and in these sentences there will be 10 blanks you have to fill in the blanks with the words and phrases that will be given in the box so dear students we have to learn phrases and words but how many phrases and words should we learn for question number three there are innumerable words and phrases i have already uttered but you will not learn all the phrases and words of the world we will choose very few phrases and words you can say we will learn maximum 15 or 20 phrases and words and i'm sure question will be there question will be from there so my dear students we are we are going to talk about gap filling with phrases and words okay it is gap filling with phrases and words the phrases and words will be given in the box 
and you have to take the help of the phrases and words of the box to fill in the blanks of 10 sentences okay that's why and in order to make this process clear i'd like to give you a model question i'd like to give you a set of question i'd like to, i'm going to give you a question and this will make us clear about the question pattern of question number three the students look at the screen okay the screen uh, you can see uh, the screen and you are requested to have a look look at the question complete the sentences with suitable words or phrases given in the box look at there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there are ten words and phrases look at the first word there the second one as soon as it's not a word it's a phrase what does blah blah look like it's a phrase was born you can say it's a phrase what if it's a phrase has to as if what's it like let alone would rather actually inside the box phrases or words will be given now under this box look at there are 10 sentences there are 10 sentences and inside these 10 sentences there are 10 blanks in order to fill in the blanks of these 10 sentences you will have to take the help of the words and phrases for example the look at the first question it was it was 45 years ago when a new country named bangladesh in the world map dash at the cost of millions of lives the students try to take the help of the words and phrases in the box and fill in the blanks of question number a it was 45 years ago when a new country named bangladesh in the world map dash at the cost of millions of lives what should be the answer dear students what should be the answer write in the comment box i have not taught you the importance words and phrases but i have given you a question actually this was not my target actually i wanted to make the question pattern clear to you that's why i have given you a sample question okay uh one student has written the answer should be was born where is the answer of other or, 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 all of the students i'd like to have some more answers from you was born was born one more yes absolutely correct what do you think whether this topic is easy or difficult the most the easiest grammatical item for intermediate second year is gap filling with phrases and words look at this the, so the first answer the answer of question number a is was born what's the second answer dear students during the liberation war of bangladesh dash was a great american singer george harrison who sang for bangladesh what should be the answer during the liberation war of bangladesh dash was a great american singer george was harrison who sang for bangladesh what should be the answer dear students what should be the answer i'd like to have your comment the first one is was born you are absolutely correct what should be the second one some of the students has written there were some written written there 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 which one is correct which one is correct my dear students i think this one is not correct because this gap is inside the sentence that's why we are going to start with capital or small small t it should be there okay next one i am not i am not practicing but i am trying to make the question pattern clear to you that's why i have started with <coughs> questions actually after going through these 10 sentences <coughs> i will start with important phrases and words okay we will learn we will learn how to use the most important phrases and words for question number three i will give you i will give you the most important phrases and words 
and my dear students i want you to write down the most important word and phrase, phrases every day for example today i will talk about <coughs> three phrases you have to write them <coughs> in my next class i will talk about another five or six phrases so if i take if i conduct two or three or four classes i think uh, this topic will need three classes okay <coughs> within three classes i think i will be able to complete this topic and in my three class or you can say from my three classes you will be able to get or make a list of important phrases and words so <coughs> the students try to stay with me and try to learn okay so that we can get five out of five in question number three so the students let us start with question number c dash living in bangladesh dash living in bangladesh <coughs> you seem to be very happy with your life in bangladesh what should be the answer what should be the answer dash living in bangladesh the students after bangladesh there's a question mark dash living in bangladesh you seem to be very happy with your life in bangladesh what do you think the answer should be what do you think the answer should be the students i want i want more more answer from you i want everybody to participate in this class yes excellent rahat alamin shimanto das excellent answer sarkar asif kais thank you mushfiqur sharan thank you shabab thank you utchal thank you utchal has to no 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 there's a mistake okay it should be what's it like we will learn every phrase and phrases and words but not now after we practice this one i will i will teach you one phrase after another i will teach you one phrase after another so don't get what should i say frustrated if you make mistakes at the beginning of this session or you can say class so it should be what's it like i will i will show you how to use what's it like i will show you how to use what if i will show how to use what's what does blah blah look like i will show you every phrases and words okay i will show you the ways of using words and phrases okay the next one my foreign friend told me you dash leave this country then live here you dash leave this country then live here what should be the answer no 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 dash my friend told me you dash leave this country then live here what should be the answer what should be the answer no 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 you are making mistakes dear students you are making mistakes yes <coughs> shipra you are you are absolutely correct Roman Sarkar correct <coughs> okay most of our students most of our students have written two answers there are two choices there are two choices for you I'm sure and uh, some of some of you have taken have to on the other hand some of you have taken would rather would rather have to the students my foreign friend told me you dash leave this country then live here here look at look at the word that if you get any modal auxiliary like would rather it's a phrase if you get phrases like would rather definitely you have to take the use you have to ensure the use of than so it shouldn't be you shouldn't be have to it should be would rather my friend told me you would rather leave this country than live here i replied this is my motherland next one in 1971 the pakistani army did terrible atrocities against the bangladeshis pakistanis dash apologize for this to bangladesh what should be the answer to this one what should be this one okay what should be the answer of this one the students 
yes now you are correct now you are correct it should be it should be has to uh, i am taking too much time for this passage i actually i don't want to uh, waste a lot of time for this one actually i want to make you understand the important phrases and words next one uh, in 1971, the Pakistani army did terrible atrocities against the Bangladeshis. Pakistan has to apologize for this to Bangladesh. Next one. Pakistan always plays a role against Bangladesh. We cannot expect any cooperation from them. Blah, 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 blah. Apology. What should be the answer? Excellent. What should be the answers? Dear students, I want everybody. Mahfuz Sharkar, not you are not correct. Roman Sharkar, what should be the answer of question number F? Yes, yes, Mushfikur Sharon, excellent. Uh, so, Sharon, thank you. What, what, are, what are the answers of other students? You are absolutely correct. Pakistan always plays a role against Bangladesh. We cannot expect any cooperation. From them, let alone apology. My dear students, I am going to tell you the answer. Actually, I don't want to waste a single uh, minute today. Actually, I want you to learn importance and phrases and what. Actually, today I will mainly focus on the usage of different phrases and words. Next one, the elements of anti-liberation forces came out of their cocoons. Should I use, as soon as the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman was killed, some persons living in Bangladesh, okay, the students, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you two minutes, and you are requested to write down the answers of question number G, H, I, J. My dear students of inter first year, I'm sure there are some students of intermediate second year, uh, there are some students of intermediate second year, I know. Uh, I'm going to give you one or two minutes time and you are requested to write your answers of G H I J in the comment box. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I want the answers of G H I J. Write the answers in the comment box. Okay. G, the elements of LT liberation forces came out of their cocoons. Dash, the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, was killed. Some persons living in Bangladesh always tried to make conspiracy against the country. Dash, Bangladesh were not their own country. The authorities of Dhaka University cut ties with Pakistan. Dash, the government of Bangladesh takes initiative to cut up diplomatic relations with Pakistan. Teachers. Teacher, learners, dash, the National Club of Bangladesh, dash. What should be the answers? Give me four answers. Answer of G, H, I, J, okay? The students, you are requested to show your seriousness by giving me the answers. Thank you, thank you. Shamin, thank you. Mm, excellent. Deep, thank you. Rashid, thank you. Tahudul Islam, thank you. Rasin, thank you. Fardin Ahmed Nahi, thank you. Imtiaz Riyadh, Safi, thank you. One of our guests, Mahi, thank you. Faisal Hamid, you are doing excellent. Jobs. Okay, Ashikur Rahman, just one answer from you. Okay, the students, I am going to give you the answers. Look at me. The elements of anti liberation forces came out of their cocoons as soon as the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, was killed. Some persons living in Bangladesh always tried to make conspiracy against the country as if Bangladesh were not their own country. The authorities of Dhaka University cut ties with Pakistan. 
what if the government of Bangladesh takes initiatives to cut up diplomatic relation with Bangladesh? Teacher, learners, what does the national flag of Bangladesh look like? In the meanwhile, I have spent 20 minutes time just to make you understand the question pattern of question number 3. Is the question pattern of question number 3 clear to you, dear students? Have you got how questions are given at question number 3? Okay. If you face any problem, if you face any problem regarding this topic, Please don't hesitate to make question. Please write your own question in the comment box. So, my dear students, now I need to. I'd like to give you some important words and phrases. I will not give you the list today. I you will make your own list after three class. I will. I will carry on with talking about the important phrases and words. Our first target today, our first target today is to learn phrase number one and definitely one question will be given from this phrase, okay? The students, our first phrase, phrase, our first phrase is, what if? Our first phrase is what if, what if, look at, what if is a phrase and this what if will be used, look at, look at me dear students, what if is a phrase and this what if will be used or is actually used at the beginning of a sentence. So, we will get, we will get what if at the beginning of a sentence. The students, with what if an interrogative sentence is created. With what if an interrogative sentence is created, but after what if, you will not have to use any interrogative sentence. That means, you will not maintain the structure of interrogative sentence because if you get what if it will be a question okay so after what if you are not allowed to use any interrogative sentence you will maintain the structure of assertive sentence after what if but it would be an interrogative sentence is my message clear to you but now question arises question arises where we should use what if uh, what if is used what is is used if used to look at to ask question to ask question to Uh, okay, I'm making it clear to ask someone to imagine what might happen or what might have happened look at the students what if is used to ask someone to imagine we we ask someone to imagine what might happen what what might have happened okay so what if is used to ask someone to imagine what might happen what or what might have happened okay in Bengali, uh, sorry, I'm going to use a Bengali word here. What if in Bengali it's called Kihabe Jodi? Okay, the Bengali meaning of what if is Kihabe Jodi, but 
if we say in english we have to say what if is used to ask to someone to imagine what might happen or what might have happened okay i'd like to give you i'd like to give you i would like to give you one example okay look at the board so our first phrase is what if definitely i'm sure even in your board exam one question will be given from what if okay in the in the world there are hundreds thousands of crores of phrases okay but we will learn only 15 or 20 words on phrases i'm sure uh, uh, you will get five out of five if you understand these 15 or 20 words on phrases okay look at i'm going to give you an example depending on the use of what if our first target okay we have an important cricket match today the students uh, this is a sentence this is a sentence but in this sentence we don't have any blank that means this is an information this is a piece of information this information will help you this information will help you to fill in the blanks of the upcoming sentence which sentence is related to this one okay uh, i i can say that here uh, in one sentence there will be a gap there might be another sentence there might be another sentence related to the sentence with gaps okay this is the sentence which doesn't which doesn't maintain a gap this is an extra information okay now i'm going to give you the question we have an important cricket match today this is an information you have to you have to consider this information to fill in the blank of the upcoming sentence for example we have an important cricket match today dash look at we have an important cricket match today dash it rains we need to imagine we need to imagine dash it rains i'm going to use what if the students with what if i have created the question with what if i have created the question and after what if you will have to maintain the structure of a simple assertive sentence is it clear to you is it clear to you have you understood me dear students i'm going to repeat what i have told about what if what if is a phrase in bengali it's called ki hobe jodi what if is used at the beginning of a sentence and with what if we will create an interrogative sentence but after what if we will not maintain the basic structure of interrogative sentence clear to you so what if it rains <coughs> i'm going to give you another example <coughs> dash <coughs> look at this stress dash you failed you are indifferent to studies this is a supplementary or complementary information okay this information this information will help you to to take this information will help you to take the help of the phrases okay i have told you that this is a single sentence but whenever you are given 10 sentences you have to you have to look for 10 words 
or 10 phrases from the box okay this is a sense which tells us to take what if this is a complementary sentence what is the sentence you were indifferent to studies what if you failed okay is my message clear to you so we are going to start what if at the beginning of a sentence with what if we will create an interrogative sentence but after what if you are not allowed to use any structure of interrogative sentence okay and we use what if to imagine what might happen or what might have happened clear to you our next phrase number two the students number two what's it like these are really important this is really important what's it like actually what's it like is used actually what's it like is used when someone doesn't have any experience of something and if that man wants to get the information of that thing whose experience is not with him or her okay in bengali what's it like carries the meaning camon camon what's it like but be careful after this is a very very important information after words it like we have to use ing with the verb is it clear to you this is a very important information you will get what's it like at the beginning of a sentence number one you will get what's it like at the beginning of a sentence and this part will also create an interrogative sentence but after what's it like you have to use ing with the verb excuse me so the students three information three pieces of information for what's it like what's it like will be used at the beginning of a sentence number one number two what's it like is the beginning of an interrogative sentence clear to you and after what's it like you have to use ing with the verb okay uh, should i give an example should i give an example yes definitely faisal ahmed you have to put ing after i'm extremely sorry i'm extremely sorry i'm going to give an example i have not had a journey by year in my life the students uh, you might have you might have additional information beside the sentence which carries the blanks okay this additional information will help you to look for the best answer and within a short time i have not had a journey by year in my life this is an information this is a piece of information you can say i have not had a journey by year in my life dash line the sky look at this students look at please i have not had a journey by year in my life dash flying the sky dash flying the sky i think uh, you are getting me can i think that my students uh, finds it easy to understand find it easy to understand i i have not had it's a correct sentence yes, students i have not had a journey by year in my life dash flying in the sky okay here this i doesn't have this man doesn't have any experience of a journey by year that's why in order to in order to get the information of experience 
he or she is making a question with what's it like what's it like clear to you my dear students of dhaka college as well as the students from other institutions i'm i'm sure there's some other students who are with me right now from different corners of bangladesh okay uh, you are requested to salute dhaka college because dhaka college administration has given you the opportunity to enjoy these classes okay this is a big opportunity for you and you should take the advantage of these live classes okay um, dash flying the sky it should be what's it like flying the sky is my message related to what's it like clear to you the students yes i think it's clear to you no those who have not been able to uh, get your admission process in dhaka college should not be confused because we are here for all of you the students we are here for all of you where we are conducting classes not only for the students of dhaka college uh, the administration of dhaka college has decided not to confine these classes only to the students of dhaka college okay these classes can be enjoyed by you thank you next one i have completed two phrases my third one what does blah 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 look like okay what does blah blah look like the students when someone when someone has not seen anything when someone has not seen anything with his or her open eyes when someone when someone when someone has not had any has not seen or watched anybody or anything and if that man i'm going to repeat if anybody hasn't seen or watched or noticed anything or anybody and if that man wants to know the appearance of that of uh, something or that thing we need to use what does blah blah look like i'd like to give you an example so we will make question with we will make question with what does blah blah look like but what does blah blah look like is usually used to get information about something which is not seen by someone which is not seen by someone for example suppose this is question number a suppose this is question number a a child is having a question child mom dash a ghost dash look at this is a very interesting line child is having a question towards his or her mother mom dash a ghost dash dash a ghost dash mother sorry dear i have not seen a ghost in my life uh, this is the, this is the additional information and this additional information will surely help you to get the answer uh, most of the time most of the time i at the beginning i have told you that there are 10 sentences and inside these 10 sentences there are 10 blanks but there might be additional sentences beside the sentences which carry blanks okay these additional sentences or information will help you 
to understand the answer in a very short time. Child is having a question, mom, dash a ghost dash. Mother is saying, sorry dear, I have not seen a ghost in my life. What should, what should be the answer? What should be the answer? Utshab, you are getting me. But now I'd like to, now I'd like to make it clear how to, how to write the answer of question number three should be our concern right now. How we can write the answer of question number three. Dear students, you are not, you are not or you should not, you should not write the whole sentences. You have to write the answer only. Okay. You should not write, child, mom, what does a ghost look like? You should only write, what does blah, blah, blah look like? Clear to you? This is question number A. This is question number 3. This is A. Your answer should be, what does blah, blah? You need not, you need not copy the whole sentence. You should write the answers only. Okay. So up to this part, I have completed three phrases. Number one, what if? Number two, what's it like? Number three, what does blah, 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 blah look like? And I'm sure, I'm sure you will get at least two questions from these three phrases. And if you are fortunate, you will get, if you are fortunate, you will get three questions from these three phrases. So, dear students, up to this part, it has been quite clear to you that this topic of question number three is really interesting as well as very easy. Am I right, the students? Is question number three difficult or easy? What do you think? <coughs> I want your comment. I want your comment. Yes, thank you, Opu. Thank you. Thank you. Today, I'd like to give you another phrase. Phrase number four. Phrase number four. Let alone. Let alone. Our fourth phrase is let alone. Uh, who can tell me, who can tell me the Bengali meaning of let alone? My dear students, who can tell me the Bengali meaning of let alone? You are requested to write the, the Bengali meaning of let alone in the comment box. <coughs> okay, thank you. What is the Bengali meaning? No. Uh, you should not write, you should not under, uh, you should not underline, you just write the answer. Today, I am trying to, I am trying to uh, see or watch or notice every comment you are writing. Shivanto, I am laughing. Okay. The students, yes, thank you, thank you. I want to get the Bengali meaning of le chalon. Excellent, excellent. What are the, what are the answers of other students? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay. The students, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the Bengali meaning. Let alone carries the meaning in Bengali, you can say Chintai Kora Jaina. Chintai Kora Jaina. But uh, I have created, I have created a uh, meaning by myself. Okay. Dear students, I have created a meaning by myself. This is not the meaning of the book. I have created a meaning by myself. And what is the meaning? The actual meaning of let alone is Chintai Kora Jaina in Bengali but I am going to give you a Bengali meaning please don't laugh the Bengali meaning of this phrase given by Rajiv sir is Ota to dure kotha what have I written 
ওটা তো দূরের কথা দিস ইজ মাই মিনিং ডে স্টুডেন্টস ওটা তো দূরের কথা ওকে ওকে হ্যাভ ইউ গট মি হোয়াট হ্যাভ আই টোল্ড হোয়াট হ্যাভ আই টোল্ড ইউ আই হ্যাভ গিভেন আ বেঙ্গলি মিনিং ওটা তো দূরের কথা ইয়েস থ্যাংক ইউ মোহাম্মদ রিফাত ওটা তো দূরের কথা আই এম গোয়িং টু গিভ ইউ এন এক্সাম্পল Rajib cannot touch my head dash the sky. Rajib cannot touch my head dash the sky. Rajib cannot touch my head dash the sky. The students, what should be the answer? What should be the answer? should i use what if should i use what's it like should i use what does blah blah look like should i use was born should i use eat should i use there what should i use yes thank you we should use we should use let alone so our answer is what is the bengali meaning of this sentence rajib cannot touch my head let alone the sky rajib cannot touch my head let alone the sky nafis nahid nafis nahid ali what is the bengali meaning can you please tell me what is the bengali meaning of this sentence if i use let alone what is the difference between yes 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 definitely what is the bengali meaning of this sentence after with with let alone sorry rajib cannot touch my head let alone the sky the bengali meaning of this sentence is rajib amar matha sporsho korte parna akash ta to durer kotha okay you people write bengali sentences in english thank you i am going to give another example and with this example i will i will come to an end regarding to this class okay thank you for your bengali writing thank you the old man is unable to walk dash run the old man is unable to walk dash run you know the answer should be let alone the old man is unable to walk let alone run the students uh, phrase number four phrase number four is also important for completing sentence phrase number four is also important for completing sentence i'm i'm going to repeat phrase number four is also important for completing sentence please my dear students you should write you should try to write your own sentences so up to this part i have completed up to this part i have completed four phrases i can expect that i can expect that you have understood me i can expect that you have understood these four phrases i can expect that you have understood the uses of these four phrases okay the students every week i am going to share an important information with you every week you will get two english classes every week you will get two english classes one will be held one will be held on saturday and another will be held on wednesday i will conduct a class on saturday and our chairman sir pranja bishesh professor pranja bishesh will conduct a class on wednesday okay i have started with question number 3 i have started with question number 3 and purondar sir our chairman sir will start right from the verb on wednesday i will have another class on saturday the next week that means the saturday classes will be conducted by me and in my upcoming class on saturday i will conduct lecture on 
gap filling with was words and phrases lecture 2 that means i have completed four phrases i'd like to talk something more related question number three okay the topic that i have started today so this is my first lecture i'd like to take another lecture on my upcoming next saturday you have another class this week on wednesday and this class uh, will be hopefully conducted by our chairman sir professor pranja vishesh and he will start with right from suburbs and this time we will try our level best to complete the syllabus of your class test 2 okay so my dear students this is all for today uh, thank you for your excellent participation and uh, i will or we will try to give you every comfort and ease that we can so this is all for today thank you for being with me please attend my next class that will be held on next saturday till that goodbye